Welcome to the 3D Cita Planner Project Tools tutorial. In order to create accurate project plans and receive correct calculations, it is essential to follow some rules when drawing. Remember these simple rules of thumb when drawing. An area or object can never consist of less than three points. Draw the general outline of an object or place first and permanently remove it within your project area. Now let's move on to the four levels of project definition project area, sub-areas, function areas, and real estate. These levels allow for more accurate calculations, but drawing and managing them is important. The project area always defines the complete area where development plan takes place. Remember to include any existing real estate that will be altered in your project. It's possible to define more than one project area in one project, but the system considers all of them as one project. After drawing your project area, Define subarea within the project area. Remember that you do not have to define all the surface area of your project. Any undefined area within your project area will be considered as leftover and will not be included when calculating certain developmental costs and revenues. Subareas define where you want certain types of development. Common subareas are housing areas, office locations, and retail locations. To define where specific development within a subarea will take place, use function areas. Always draw function areas within subareas. Functional areas are optional and not required to make relatively accurate plans for use, costs, and land revenues. In the Object Information tab Calculations, you can choose between a percentage-based layout without drawing any function areas or opt to draw the function areas yourself. Lastly, draw in your real estate. For more accurate results, always draw real estate within subareas or function areas in case you define those. The 3D CITA Planner allows you to define different levels of detail for many types of real estate. You can either draw any type of real estate yourself or generate them based on parameters. When you opt to draw function areas, select the Drawn option in the Calculations tab. The program will automatically pick up any drawn function areas within the subarea and calculate the percentage of surface area used. When you draw your function areas, Note that any undefined area within that subarea will be considered a green area by default. That's it for the Project Tools tutorial. Follow these steps to create accurate project plans and receive correct calculations in your project dashboard. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more info, have a look at our help pages, YouTube channel, website, or send us an email.